Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the New Balance Beacon 3. What's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things. Can you link to where you can get these? Now the Beacon 3, now the Beacon shoes from New Balance are very popular. I've never had them, so I was really excited to get the version 3. So let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here it is, version 3 of the Beacon shoe from New Balance. Like I said a second ago, I've never had Beacon uh, shoes from New Balance, and I was super excited to try them out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I've been a big fan of New Balance this year. I think they've been making some awesome shoes, uh, and I was really excited to try this one out because of everybody saying how good the Beacon series is. Now, this is a, a lightweight daily trainer. Uh, I think the focus is on the lightness. Uh, I would say it's probably more to those mid to longer runs, uh, and that's where I found that it's sort of sweet spot is where I've been doing like well, wow, sort of seven to 15K is where I think it's, it's finding its path in my sort of rotation. Um, what have we got on the shoe? Well, firstly, it's under 100 pounds, which I think is awesome, 99.99 here in the UK, which is always a winner for me. Uh, you've got the Fresh Foam X midsole, which is kind of cool, which is on the 1080. Uh, you've got the um, ground contact fresh foam midsole, which delivers a cushion lightweight ride, and the outsole is strategically placed rubber outsole pods for durability where needed. I'll show you those in a second. You've got this engineered mesh upper for a barely there feel. Uh, breathable textile material keeps your foot cool. Uh, ultra heel design hugs the back of the foot with a snug supportive fit. Shoes 8.5 ounces for a UK nine and a half fits true to size. The shoe's got a uh, six mil drop. And yeah, it's sort of, as I said, it's sort of suited for those mid to high mile runs. So firstly, I'm gonna put this straight out there. Immediately, one of the really annoying things this shoe is this pit here. Now, if you're wearing ankle socks, running socks, then I would really recommend not wearing them when you're running in this, because I found, <laughs> and you may have seen it in a couple of my videos, I wear Chimera socks most of the time. Uh, and the low ones, I found that it was really rubbing on my ankle here, it's actually quite coarse. There's a lump in there, which is kind of nice, um, but I just found this area was rubbing on my ankle. It was absolutely fine when I went to a, a normal uh, sock, uh, just over my ankle, and it, that was fine. But I, just as a warning, it was really, really annoying. And even the more I've ran in them, I thought it would sort of soften up a bit, but it's not. So just a bit of a pre-warning, do not run these with low, um, low socks. Anyway, with that out of the way. So. 1080 uh, version 10 is a great shoe. I kind of liked it, but for me, it, 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 it wasn't as good or as responsive, I felt, as some of the fuel cell shoes that um, New Balance do. I'm a big fan of the fuel cell midsole. I prefer it over the Fresh Foam X. As a personal choice, I know there's a lot of people who absolutely love the 1080 shoe. But for me, it just didn't do enough. And I've got to be honest with you, I kind of feel a little bit about the Beacon 3 like that. Uh, because it's got this massive slab of Fresh Foam X on it, it's not really doing anything too exciting. I much prefer the Propel version 2 as an example, which has got the Fresh Foam, um, the, sorry, the Fuel Cell midsole in it. That's just a personal preference. Um, if you like the 1080, then you're gonna like this shoe. It's a very lightweight daily trainer, um, which is great. And like all New Balances, it fits true to size. You know what you're gonna get. You know you can pick up the pace in it and it will do everything you want. But it's just it's just a personal preference. I really do prefer the fuel cell uh, midsole um, from uh, New Balance. The outsole, so what they've done is they've got these sort of um, pods here, which are the rubberized areas. The rest of it is Fresh Foam X on the outsole. Uh, and by the way, 
I've noticed um, I've been getting little stones in there. I've cleaned them out today, but I've been getting little stones in there, which is a little bit annoying. But anyway, but you've got these uh, five strategically placed bits of rubber, which uh, have been giving me enough traction. I, I wear, um, wear them. I wore them in the rain today and they were absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, so you do get these uh, little bits of rubber and the rest of it is this foam X on the outsole. The uh, overall feel of the upper is great. You've got a little bits of structure here with the New Balance signs and you can see it here in the design, which they've done is very cool. Um, and that does add some structure around here. I told you already about the heel area. It's a little bit annoying, but is what it is. And I found the upper breathable, but it's not the most breathable shoe um, I've had from New Balance. Um, but it's okay. You know, it was warm the other day and I did notice my foot getting a little bit warmer than I was expecting, but I don't know whether that's just because it's a dark color, but I would say that. Um, I didn't notice the uh, higher stack height in it. That's not anything to be fearful of. Um, I think if you're looking for a up tempo mid to long run shoe this is a great shoe to look at i do think it might be worth looking at something like the reebok um, symmetros for example i think that's a good alternative to shoe similarly priced um, and again sort of suited towards those mid to uh, mid to long runs as a daily trainer i just found that shoe a little bit more um, suited to me it was just a little bit more springy than this um, and I think that's where I'll leave it, really. This is a good shoe. I can see why you guys like it. I can see actually why you guys love it. But for me, it just left me a little bit, mm, is that it? You know, is, is the Beacon 3, mm, okay. I was expecting a lot more, maybe because you guys are hyped it up, so I blame you. But let me know in the comments, do you prefer Fresh Foam X over Fuel Cell? Mm, let me know in the comments why you prefer it. Uh, but for me, yeah, I just prefer the Propel version too. I just like that fuel cell um, with it. And I think if you're looking for a daily trainer, this is a good shoe, but I think there's better out there.